What's up, you beautiful nerds? I am Wildfire One. You're watching and listening to Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, episode 145. We're in a mini boss episode. Woohoo! With me Yay. today is. I'm Laser Kid. And uh, it's only natural that he's here with me for this particular podcast because we're going to be talking about Thundercats. Thundercats, ho! Uh, we'll probably talk a little bit about the newer show, the newer shows. Like I guess there's one in what 2012. There's 2012, and then there's the one we don't like to think about. Yeah, and then there's the then there's the old old version one that uh, started in the eight, like late 80s and ended in 89. And it went, you know, like, I didn't even realize there was, it's two seasons, but the seasons were insanely long. There were, like, 70 episodes a season. Two sixty-five episodes a season. Yeah. What's funny is season two back in the day was that not aired, like, in one year. They split it across, like, three different years. That makes sense, because I don't remember much of season two. I remember a little bit. Well, let's start at the beginning. What is Thundercats? Oh. Thundercats is a science fiction fantasy adventure story. Ultimately, I'd say it's a coming-of-age tale. Um, another guy that I follow who does a lot of Thundercats stuff, uh, Lyle Convoy, will compare it to Arthurian legend, and I think that's appropriate, especially given some of the episodes that occur. Well, especially it, in the original series when there was actually King altercations King Arthur, with King oh. Arthur. So, yeah. Yes. Yes, but it's it's you know knightly valor and well the code you know, of Thundera. they follow they follow the code of Thundera, which is basically the the Arthurian code, mm-hmm. you know the the, the the code that their knights did. So I could see that being I could see it being like an a, a King Arthur uh, Knights of the Round Table kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and ultimately you know the story. Uh, for, for, Anything beyond that's going to be iteration specific. But in the original, you have these basically, they're the last of their kind. Their whole planet got blown up. They escaped to third Earth. <laughs> not first and or second. Third. Not first or second. And not fourth either. Third. Uh, and on third Earth, there is a evil mummy demon priest. They, they actually go as far as to call him a demon priest. Oh, Mom. God, the 80s were a time, man. The ever living! Yes, because for as long as evil exists, he will exist, and you can't really get rid of evil. So. They've, I mean, in the series, yeah. without getting too far into it, I know they killed him like four times. Oh, gosh. So, uh, and, and he just keeps coming back like a bad cockroach. Like a hemorrhoid. And the, and it, it's actually, like, I watched it recently for nostalgia, uh, because I wanted the first one, or the first season... Because before that, I watched the 2012 version, and uh, okay, and I talked about it. And okay, said it was really good. He kind of told me it was like an amazing series. It's so, really good. It's not Thundercats, but it's really good. Well, it's I want to say it's Thundercats reimagined. Yeah, I, I don't feel like it's got the soul of Thundercats, but for what it is, it's really good. I want to say it's Thundercats reimagined. It's not the same premise as as the original. Not the same premise, and it doesn't have the, the like that that what I was mentioning. You know, the, the nightly valor. That's not really what they're going for in that yeah. one. The truth, it, honor, justice, and loyalty. Yeah, for 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 the 2012 series, you're dealing with it's a it's still a coming of age tale. So they got that part. This is not an attack on it. No. I actually, again, I love this series. The really series is actually really good. If I had a complaint, I will, and we'll get to that. I had maybe one complaint about it, and I know what you, you know, I know you understand what I'm going to say. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for my for you to say, it, and then I, I will give my own. The take big on difference it. between the first one. This isn't a complaint. This is just me making an observation. The big difference between the first one in the '80s and this one is um, the fact that Lionel Lionel grew up. Like, and, and when I say grew up, I mean like he wasn't bling an adult in a, ki- a kid in an adult's body. He was. Yeah. He grew up. He grew up naturally, uh, and I, mm-hmm. I want to say that 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 makes a big difference, at least to me. Well, he instead of being a child, he's a teenager. Yeah. Well, he was. He, he's a not, spoiled teenager. Yes, he's not. I would not call twenty uh, twenty eleven Thundercats uh, Lino a grown up. He's a teenager, which lies into your. Well, he did have to grow up quickly too. But well, yeah, we'll just like just okay. like uh, the original Lino. Yeah. So and, that, and one of the things I will say is from the from the 2011 2012 series is that they used the original voice actor as Lionel's father. 
Claudus. Which, yes, that which, was really cool. That I, I approve of that. That was yeah, that, Cla was, that was Claudus good. was the original Lionel. I wish I remember the actor's name, but yeah. I remember his first name, but I'm going to butcher his last name, so I'm gonna withhold. Yeah, <laughs> and it's okay. It was. It was just. I, I remember hearing his voice and going, "Oh my god! Like that's him." It, it sounds was. just like him. him. And and he did a great job. It was yeah. really awesome to hear him again. He's matured um, as an actor since then, obviously. Oh, yeah, I mean, you'd have to. It would have been, like, 30 years. Yeah. I wonder if he's been in anything. So the first one, like, an another big change from, from the 2011-2012 series was that, like, Tigra was his brother. Eh. Mm. Like, eh. Uh, the, the, one of the big changes about the, the, the 2011 show is it's the, um, very focused on internal conflict. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially towards, more. towards the end, uh, towards the mm -hmm. end of the series. Where, 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 and I think I'm going to key into your issue here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to you here. The horny is too heavy. The horny is ridiculous. The horny is ridiculous! <laughs> oh, you got me started! Oh, this, and that's my problem. You don't no, need don't. romance in Thundercats. You don't. You don't. I don't have a problem with it in concept. But it's like shoved in your but face like a big thunder dick. And you don't the, want it. The execution is, is a little too much. Like, lion -O had a thing for Chitara. And Chitara was like, ah, oh, we're just friends. And like, like it, I mean, up until a certain point, you're like, Oh, they're, they're into each other. Okay, and then it, it like surprises the viewer just as much, at least in my case, surprises it just as much as it oh, did yeah. Lino when she's like, oh, no, I like Tigra. What, bitch? What? Oh, yeah. Well, they, she had that background history with him. What, that, and that, they explained that, but they explained it later. Yep. And, oh, yeah. But up until that point, you're like, oh, they're going to make a great couple, even though there shouldn't be, the, hor the, the horny shouldn't be there. The horny is a really odd choice because it was still aimed at kids and one of the major failures of the 2011 show was it was aimed at kids and it got an audience but it wasn't kids gee i wonder why because kids don't yeah, remember the kids at that time don't remember thundercats well even without that you know it's it's you know we we have the horny going on. Kids are gonna be like, I don't understand this shit. Well, I don't I don't want to deal with the romance. And it was we say the horny like it really wasn't it's like he joke. was trying to hump her leg. He was just no, trying. No. He was trying to get. I'm with I'm, I'm joking around. Yeah. Oh, I like the term because it works good for this. Because <laughs> it was the horny. It, it was, was so horny. much horny. Like legitimately, I'm calling it the horny because ultimately, yeah, no, it's 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 not perverted. No, it's, it's actually kind of sweet, but it is. It is sweet. It's romantic it's bit, in its own it's, way. But the, it's a bit much in the in the excessiveness of, of. There didn't need to be any of that in Thundercats. No, like the not. the first series didn't have much. They had little tidbits here and there, of of the. And horn. again, I, I'm not going to say there's not there's anything wrong with characters having relationships in the Thundercats story. This can be done. They, but even, they laid it on a little too thick. Oh, thick, too thick, too soon, too quickly. Exactly. And that's the issue. Like, it's just like it turned into a high school drama. Yeah. Oh, right. Especially after, especially after Chitar is like, oh, I like, I like. Well, uh, and then they throw Pumira into the mix. And, oh, don't you know, get me started with Pumira. Like, oh my. Pumira God. was a good concept. Like the whole situation, he, all the way to the end, was was. I mean, like, oh, cool. He's got his own. <sighs> Okay, we're going to yeah. get into this. We're going down this rabbit hole. This is a thing. <laughs> Pumira got introduced right after uh, Lionel kind of kind of came to terms the, with the fact that, that uh, Chitara didn't like him, that she liked Tigra. I mean, she likes him, but not in that way. Yeah, they're, they're friends. Friend zone. He got friend, he got zone. friend zoned, yes. He got friend zoned by Chitara. Yep. And, uh, and out of nowhere, here comes Pumira, and like... He saves her from like slavery. Basically, like they start to bond, and you're like, "Oh, this is cute." Like that's the part where you're like, "Okay, this this romance I can deal with. It's kind of cool. We found someone." But turns out it's plot device because she's fucking Mumra. Well, she's not Mumra. She's no, 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 no. She's fucking 
Oh, Mumra. Oh, I see what you did there. He uh, calls her his, his lover. Wife. Yeah, absolutely he does. Oh. Yeah, she's not yeah, let me let me rephrase it, like like further explain. She's not Mumra. She's not fucking Mumra. She's fucking Mumra. Well, and and the reason for it is interesting and and you know, we'll explore it. Well, actually, not really, because it's the very last second, and then the show's over. And then the show's over, and never to be fucking fixed. Yeah. Thanks for that one, Cartoon Network. We've gotten bits and pieces on what would have happened, so there's there's information out there, but it's oh. <sighs> a really weird place for the show to just stop on. Let's also, let's also talk about the fact that Mumra's, like, ma- everything magic in this isn't magic. It's Not science. science Although we do have the ultimate anime backstory, which is freaking amazing. Go ahead and tell us about that. Yeah, so they, they kind of throw you for a loop, because if you're familiar with the original Thundercats, you know, they come from the planet Thundera. Well, in the 2011 show, no, Thundera is a kingdom, totally. Uh, except actually, no, it was a planet once, and the Thundarians were actually Mumra's servants. It reminds me so much of, like, the Saiyan... Like, uh-huh. yeah, and that's mm-hmm. what I, I now I get mm-hmm. what you mean by the ultimate anime plot. Well, also because you get like Knights of the Zodiac style armor power ups and glowy hair. Yeah, and it, it is something, man. It's Everything. interesting, but it is uh, not Thunder. Yeah, you, you, this is all the personal. It's not Thundercats. It's like they I put in no problem, everything you but... liked from an anime from several different animes. As a story, but that's my biggest, one of my biggest pet peeves of the 2011 series, is that mm-hmm. they they took everything you liked from other shows and put it in, and like, oh hey, here's here's a plethora of bullshit. Good luck with that. Mm-hmm. Have fun with that. And oh yeah, well they they were trying to modernize it, and I appreciate the attempt. I don't it agree wasn't with horrible, it. but it you could tell what they were doing. It's it's they could have done something more original. Oh, in my opinion. they could have. They certainly could have, and I would argue should have, but. It's still fun. No, it's it doesn't make it a bad show. The show's good. I'm like my big complaint, if anything, and my only complaint really is it gets a little romantic and a little too romantic, too horny, so to speak. The horny is strong with and this. I do like the new Thunder Tank. The new Thunder Tank's pretty damn cool. And it took me a minute to get used to the voices. Like, I, I'm telling you, like, the voices were oh, yeah. cool. I think the voice acting was well but done. But they're not. They're not who you're used but to. But Panthro totally is, doesn't remember. sound like Panthro. Panthro's character looks like Ron Perlman. <laughs> God damn it. Am I wrong? <laughs> you're not wrong on that one, He sir. looks no. just like Ron Perlman. I'm like, God oh, damn it. Why didn't they just get him to play him? And then, like, I was... But I was... I liked that about him, you know? But it... Yeah. And the, the voice was okay, but it took some getting used to, as well as, like... As well as fucking, like... Lion-O and I mean all the characters Wiley Kit and Cat were cool They, the voice acting was good in the first one it just took a little bit to get used to and there's a change that a lot of people like that I don't and that mm. Snarf no longer talks yeah I miss I miss the talk in Snarf I do too um, I know a lot of people get annoyed with Snarf but I think Snarf's a very fun character as an adult as a kid Snarf. I don't know about that but as an adult he has a unique perspective. Snarf was a... He pushed the plot along. He also is basically lion dad. More or less, or his nanny. Who Snarf is. <laughs> so before we get too far into the original, I want to finish with, with the, the mm-hmm. 2011. It basically... So it like we, we're flipping off, you know, uh, Cartoon Network, because it basically ended on a cliffhanger. Oh, and the worst part is they were planning to do more. And they canceled it. They just they did. It got canceled. Um, they, they decided it was cheaper to make more Lego shows than to make a Thundercat show because that was a very expensive show to make. No yeah, I mean the it. animation was great. Everything oh, yeah. it was no. very well they, done. They, they put a lot into it, and it's not that it didn't do well exactly. It's that it did well with adults but not kids, and then the toys weren't selling because they got Bandai to make the toys, and I know because I have them. They're not good toys. <laughs> So, like we were saying, basically what happened was Lionel falls in love with Pumira, and uh, they they kind of get together, but they don't. And then out of nowhere, here comes fucking um, Mumra, who's like, "Oh, by the way, this is she's with me the whole time. Double cross. Yeah. She's and my she lover. Hates- I wish I was making that up." 
You're not. And she hates him because she blames him for the fall from there, even though the guy that she decided to shack up with is the one who orchestrated it. Yeah, bad plot device, but yeah, also I, good, I, I, a good betrayal story. Bad sure. plot device. Um, yeah. The, the specifics don't line up so well. No. So then you get this, like, basic last, you know, she's flying off with him, and and he's like, why? And then fucking nothing. No more episodes. Yep. That's the end of it. So that was the, that's more or less the, uh, the 2011 Thundercats for you. You're welcome. Uh, watch it if you want to. There's some good parts. I mean, they, they used a I lot of... I do think it's a good show for, again, for, for what it is. Yeah. They used a lot of good references from the original. There's a lot of good stuff from the original. There's a lot. Of, it was a good show. It really was, with the exception of the horny and, and some of the other stuff that I mentioned. But it, it was it was tolerable, and I enjoyed it. And so after that, I decided I'm gonna watch the original Thundercats. <sighs> and I, 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 I hear you about your journey the entire time. We're like, what is going on? I'm just sitting here going. Yeah. And I wonder. And I went into it. Thinking of my remembering, go, like telling myself, this is not the voice acting is going to be bad. It's not going to it's not going to live up to what you remember as a kid because I loved it as a kid. Yeah, I think everybody um, did. I want to say the first thirty episodes of season one were cringy as fuck for me. Um, it d- doesn't mean it wasn't entertaining, but it was cringy as fuck. You know, Lionel getting into trouble and must talk like this. Get out of trouble! It it's just you know, the voice Fuck. acting was one Not of my biggest issues. Hey, Samuel Fly. Exactly. Uh, the only Look one. Look out! The mutants are attacking. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like Will it was like Bill Shatner, like fuck it, it was like it, w- it William takes Shatner. A bit to, in, if you're talking about the voice acting being cringy, I'm right there with you. Yeah. Um, the the, the stories are actually really well. Well, especially the first thirty episodes. Um, all the girls, all the female characters sounded the fucking same. Probably the same voice actor. It I is, know for yeah. a fact. I know for a fact that Mandora and Chitara are the same voice actors, yes. which is really weird because she does good with Chitara almost immediately, but Mandora is. Uh, see, I beg to differ. She it took her a little bit to catch her stride, in my opinion, to catch to do Chitara. Like a little later, I think she did amazing, but at first, it's like she was trying. It was just like the Wiley, the 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 kit and cat. Well, even even back then, though, like compare that to Mandora. Well, Mandora was bad from the beginning. Yeah. Mandora was bad, like, all the way through the season series. Like, she never got better, in my opinion. No. Mandora, I, I always cringe whenever I get to a Mandora episode. Yeah. I, I, the character's an interesting concept, but that voice is just, why? Yeah, I mean, Mandora is this, the evil chaser. <laughs> she is. She's the intergalactic space cop. Some of the names. Some of the names. The way they first introduced Mandora was kind of cool, though. When when she had to go up against like the pickpocket, they and and the the blob and all that other shit. That was kind of that was a good episode. She's in a couple of good episodes. It's yes. Just whenever she talks, you just want to hit your head against the wall. And uh, the one the only character I can say, maybe two characters, three characters I can say that did a really good job from season one, was the guy who played Panthro, like the guy who played Tigra. Golf clap. For that, that guy did a really good job, and of course Lionel, which I can't hate Lionel despite how how lame he sounds sometimes. You just can't hate it. I mean, honestly, if I was gonna pick the best voice, it would either be Jaga or Mumra. Jaga, oh, Jaga and Mumra both did good, but even the guy who played Mumra had to f- had to kind of catch his stride because the first thirty episodes, Mumra laughs at nothing all the time. Well, that's a writing issue, not a voice actor issue. They sounded evil and scary and creepy. As a... Honestly, the voice acting was good. Nothing, nothing, just... I kind of like it because it shows how unhinged this guy is. It, it got on my nerves. <laughs> I'm not gonna okay. lie. I said, I, I'm like, why? What are you laughing at? What's so funny? <laughs> he's a crazy psycho. That's what. But if he's unhinged, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, he yeah. like, and then he like, you, he just screws his power off. And he's like, oh, I gotta go back to my sarcophagus. I've been mumraw for ten minutes. I've been like super mumraw for ten minutes, and then like after he first dies in season one, yeah, the, like, the anointment trial, yep. Yeah, after the anointment trial, which was very good. The anointment trials were, oh, were very good. They were just too spaced out. Well, if you watched it on TV as a kid, they were actually back to back to back. 
I remembered that, but that's why I was. I um, thought it was weird they that they were spaced out they on. They put them up on purpose later on because the decision was. The writers were like, were asked by kids specifically, uh -huh. why would the Thundercats be so mean to Lino? Why would they just run him through this gauntlet with no breaks? And the writers were like, that's a good point. They wouldn't. They'd take some breaks. The spacing is deliberate so that you understand this was not. Um, was they weren't once. acting on Lionel. This was a thing that they're doing to test him, but it's not immediately one after the other, after the other, after the other. There's breaks in, in between, and that's why it's spaced like yeah. that. There was, and there were a lot of really good characters throughout the show. Um, there, I mean, off the top of my head, I can't think of all of them, but, I mean, the Snowman was cool. Oh, I mean, Snowman's good. Hachiman is Hachiman fun. Hachiman was really cool. Though his character, Hachiman changed later throughout. I, I, you, I remember you, I told you about this. You did. I, like, I'm like, when did really he become, and this, this is probably one of the parts you didn't see, because this is after Third Earth. After, yeah, after New Thundera. After New Thundera, yep. That he, last little arc, I've seen the ending, but I haven't seen all the episodes. Hachiman goes from, like, being this, like, ancient samurai-ish samurai guy, guy to being, like, as old as Mumra and is just as powerful. Yeah, but because you, you stopped watching uh, I, Little I've Past tried to watch. Thundera. I've tried to watch the New Thundera stuff so many times. Well, you're a huge family. fan of, of the Lunatics, and new after New Thundera kind of hits, the Lunatics are done. Oh, They're Lunatics gone. are pretty... Oh, yeah. Well, that's not my problem. My problem is they, they split up the cast around and it just doesn't quite work for me. Yeah, some of them are on New Thundera, some of them are on Third Earth. And, and they don't really use I, most of them. I want to say that almost like... To me, the episode The Last Day is where the show ends. That makes sense. And that was a good episode. And um, it's a great episode and a fantastic ending in my mind. Yes. And well, honestly, once you get into New Thundera, the New Thundera, the New Thundera arc... Wasn't bad. It really wasn't. It no, starts off really slow I, and boring. But that's there's why I've never made it very far. I've seen the last episode because it's the last episode. I had to see it. But towards the end, like after certain things happen, and uh, it's not so bad. It's it's actually really good. I had to kind of force myself past, especially when the lunatics, lunatics, and the uh, uh, mutants mutants like just go bye bye they disappear and they, they, they go on the magic train up old. yeah the magic train to go to fucking i don't know that, prison that, land that that's never quite sat right with me for a way to deal with them because it's like okay they're in a magic train of bullshit but if you could have done that why didn't this happen like way long see ago? that didn't bother me it was the fact that we never we really didn't see them again until later on and then you only saw one or two of them and that's it Oh, the they're, they're, they're in the bullshit circus train. Yeah. Well, there's a few. There's a few episodes where like, like one Vulture Man out. came out and and freed some yeah. of them and and yeah, and, I think I've seen that episode. And it was it was okay. It was actually really good. But then like after that, it's like poof, no more fucking. The the main villains of the first season are fucking no longer an issue. And that just doesn't. That kind of bothers me. Like why if these guys, I get it. Like we're moving on, but I mean you're still uh, doing with Mumra, but. Uh, yeah, but I mean, even then, and then you have the female Mumra, which don't get me started. Oh, she's, Mumrana. Well, she's everything good, everything nice. I know about, I know about Mumrana. What? A, uh, yeah, and she Mumrana? was introduced in season one, and you only got oh, to yeah. her three and there, times. And then there was, yeah, there was a continuation episode in season two, and then there's, I'm guessing, a third that I don't know about. Um, I, I could be, I could like be overcounting it. It could be two. I actually like her. What I the reason I like her is it makes sense if you think about it. Uh -huh. If there's a a, a mumra that that's like yeah, yeah, I'm I'm this force of evil, all evil, all good. It makes all sense. Good. I do. It makes per I, I, I see agree. And I love the idea that the only reason that things go badly with her in the first place is she gets mind controlled by a bad guy, and then they have to go like, but she doesn't get mind controlled like I'm evil. She gets mind controlled. Oh, these guys are bad guys. I gotta go take them yeah, out. Yeah, Mumra, Mumra, the guy that's the guy that's lo looks kind of like me, but a dude, and and says he's the ultimate evil. Says that these guys are bad. Ancient, ancient spirits of goodness. I that, I cringed so bad. I mean, we have ancient spirits of evil. I know, but like, can't you call them something else? Like, can't you just say something? I cringed so bad. I, I had to pause it and just it's go. An, it, 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 oh, I'm, I'm going to have to use one of my friend's phrases. It was the 80s. I'm, I can't argue with that. I really can't because it was and it was. It was a kid's show in the 80s, which makes it even 
more that explains it even more. Mm-hmm. But what well, and do? honestly, I, I don't actually even mind the ancient spirits of goodness because you have ancient spirits of evil, ancient spirits of good. You say ancient spirits of good, it doesn't quite. It sounds lame. At least, at well, least ancient spirits of evil sounds pretty badass. Well, like it's because it's evil. Yeah, well, yeah. I could live with evil, but you hear and you hear it three, t- you hear it like five times an episode. Munra relies way too much on those goddamn spirits, and he can fuck off. Well, if you think about it, if you really look at it, there's a reason. He's their servant. Well, there's there's even a there's even a part in in the uh, in the arc that you didn't care for. The uh, Are you talking about Shadow Master because I know about that one. Oh well, I, I, I probably am, but I, I know that there was a there's an episode where he got tired and he tried to like double cross the spirits oh. of evil. And I was talking. The one I'm thinking about is where they 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 fire him and put somebody else in. No, no, they. I remember that episode. There, but they didn't That's really true. fire him. They were, they were like trying to get him to recruit, and he's like, "No, fuck that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know what you're doing here, spirits. No, I'm not stupid." And yeah, but no, he. There's a point where he tried to double cross them, and like, or, or rather, I'm thinking about where he, they fuck, where he fucked up, and they're like, "We're tired of you. You're going into this oh, Superman oh, spectral yeah. realm, and we're throwing you yeah. into space." And then, like, the next episode, they're like, "Ah, oh, we're just kidding. Come on back. It's all yeah. right, Mamra. But you yeah, and my mom are cool." When he fails enough, they totally just like get out of here, bitch. Yeah, but then they bring him back. We're giving you a second chance, and I'm totally not Panthro. <laughs> I'm not evil, Pat. The, okay, with all the bitching and the, the silliness that I'm... Oh, that, it's still a good series. It really is. I liked the characters. I liked, I mean, with the exception of the, the first 30 episodes, the voice acting gets amazing. Once the characters catch their stride, they know... Even, like, my biggest complaint, and he'll, he'll agree disagree with me with this one, but Wally Kit and Cat got on my nerves the first season. All of the I first season. That I could understand. All Wiley of, Kid and Wiley Cat are uh, really stupid. All and it wasn't because they were stupid. It was the voice acting. It sounded lazy. Oh. And that's okay. and then that's where you're going to disagree with me on. And that's okay. But it sounded lazy. And there were they, don't get me wrong. It's not kind of lazy, but I can understand why their voices are great on you. Some of the the acting was good, especially when the trials happen, and you know. The tri- by the by the time the trials happened, I want to say that was towards the end of season one. That's when it was it's good. Towards the end. It's, a, it's about three quarters of the way through season one. Yeah, it was. It was. They were. They kind of caught their stride. Um, Chitara, the the voice actress for Chitara, caught her stride. I want to say after the first thir- first thirty episode. Well, I know you have your favorite and uh, oh, hated yeah. episodes, so I was <laughs> yes, going to get I into do. that and let you talk about that. Yeah, My yeah, favorite. Got- one of my favorites, and you're probably this is probably one of the ones you don't like, is the the Safari Joe episode. Uh, that was one of the episodes that my parents recorded when I was a kid, and I'd always watch it. For me, that was Mumrana. I'm not kidding. Oh, no wonder you. When when the new Thundercats came in, I thought that was cool. Oh yeah, the season two, the the uh, the the. You got the old the, blind man. Uh, yeah, well, Linkso Ch- and Bengali. You got yeah, Bengali, and Linkso, Pumaira. Yeah, yeah Pumaira, and then you, I mean, one of them's like one of them's like Tiger 2.0. That's that's Bengali. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, he's, but he's different though because he's not a architect; he's a blacksmith. Yes, but still. I actually <laughs> have a Bengali action for car- figure from for, my for, childhood. For for action figure purposes, they looked a lot alike. Well, action figure, even then, they don't actually. Um, Thundercats was uh, actually, and I know you're going to disagree with me a little bit on this, but Thundercats very much would do stuff regardless of what the toy line would do. No, I can't say I disagree with you on that one. Uh, there are stuff that was in the show that I wanted toys of, but they yeah. never made toys Well, of. I, I, I want to say that I'll, I'll, the only thing, if anything, if I disagree with is a lot of people will say it's not, it wasn't toyetic. I want to say it was. Oh a no, it is that I won't say. It was. It's got some toyetic as hell. Yeah, shit it there. was. It was a little toyetic, but there was there were things that, like you just said, that they never made toys out of, which they should yeah. have. I, I mean, there's a proto strike type for my big standout, the, the Thunder Strike. I would have killed for a Thunder. Well, the Thunder Strike was amazing. When I was a kid, I had a Thunder Tank, and I fucking oh, I loved that thing. thing. I wanted the Thunder Tank as a kid. I didn't get that, but um, Thunder Strike, I would have died for that thing, but. They, uh, they made a prototype for it, but it never came out. They made a lot of cool toys. I'll give them that. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
the, 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 the even the play sets, you know, they got the Cat Slayer and the Momoraz uh, Temple. Those are some pretty cool shit. And the Cat Slayer, I'll say this, we were talking, and another reason I, I don't blame you for not liking the new Thundera uh, arc is, like, oh, the new Cat Slayer looks like Cat shit. Slayer. It looks like... Like, it looks like Cat Lincoln! It kind of does. It kind of does. It's it's really weird. I'm I'm trying to think of how I describe it, and that's not a it bad. It doesn't way. look like it looks like the freaking cowardly lion. Kid me definitely hated it. Uh, I hate it as an adult. I don't hate it as an adult, but it's not as good. I never watched all of the series, so when I watched all of the series, and I did notice, like I said, one of my one of my freaking problems was like Mumra never stayed dead, which makes sense because he's not supposed to stay dead he's supposed to be their no, primary he's, villain he, he, and he's he, evil he, back, he is literally an embodiment of evil yes he and you cannot can't. be destroyed without destroying evil and you can't it's funny because Mumra was like only I am the ones that, the one that can destroy the Thundercats but he enlisted so many motherfuckers to help him <laughs> like in some oh, instances yeah. he's like you do this for me and he's but uh, and there's so and that's another thing and this is what something I gotta talk about Thundercats is so hypnotizy. Like, it has so many episodes that has to do with mind control and hypnotizing. Delky. More fruit. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that's one of your... That's one of the episodes <laughs> I know you hate. I hate and I love it. Um, I love to hate it. I didn't think it was <laughs> bad. I remember you were talking about it before I watched it. Oh, it's a... It's so weird it and was... crazy. And it's just like, what is going on? I love to watch it to laugh at it. It, you know, what it felt it. it felt forced only because <laughs> it was like you know drugs are bad, kids, and that's what it felt like as an adult watching it. As a kid, you're like, oh, okay, there's a, there's there's a moral here. You don't think about that. You're just like, oh, he's nope. being mind controlled. This is messed up. As an adult, you're like, oh god, oh why would I want to watch this? Ah ha ha ha! I'm having an LSD trip. Ah ha ha ha! He's flying and shit. Like I'm like, I'm shit. You're not in his mind. He's flying. I, I, as much as I say I don't like it, I love to watch it because it's so dumb. Yeah. It is so, See, so I didn't dumb. think it was as dumb. I still cringed a little bit, but it was entertaining at least. There's also the one with the, the bubble monster guy. I don't remember uh, where that, he, actually. He makes, he, he makes them become evil. Well, he that happens things. all the fucking time. Well, yes, but it's, it's like, um, he's a big, like, frog guy, and he's like... I, I, I remember now vaguely. Evil. I remember vaguely. I just can't remember the episode. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I can't. I'm mad at myself. That I can't remember the name of this thing because I always remember. The I name just of stopped it. watching it last month. I just stopped. I watched the last episode last month, and I was just like, uh, before I went uh, on my trip to Oregon, I watched it, and there was a whole lot of fucking mind control in this. In the oh show. yeah, there, like there, there's a lot of that, but I actually think it's kind of neat. Like, there's one episode that it gets borderline sexual with fucking Chitara sleeping and that fucking dude that comes out of the mirror. Oh, I know exactly. That's a fun episode. Yeah, it's a good episode, but it gets borderline sexy. Like, like he's watching her sleep and shit. And I'm like, well, the I adult me is like, stranger danger! Stranger danger! Putting more in there than it's meant to be, though. Yeah. Like, well, I don't, like, like, in the first episode, I'm a, I'm a pervy naked. old man now. That's my problem. And what the fuck is a robo burble? Robert Burble. Robert Burble, like that. They come from the planet Robert. The most adorable fucking things out. It's they're like they're like they robot. Are, they're like robot like Ewoks. Robert. Yeah, yeah. Robert Burbles come from the planet Robert. They mm. are oft allies of the Thundarians. They're, they're adorable. Good with, they're good with farming. They're good with technology. I mean, they they built Cat's Lair and all of the Thundercats bases and shit. Yep. I mean, they took the the, the, the they are hard workers. I, I honestly feel like the Robert Burbles are supposed to be a stand. They're, they're like hobbits. They're they're the stand-in for the everyman. Okay, I, and then the the Amazons were cool. I'll give. Oh them. gosh, the Amazons are fun. Although the voices are. Uh, well, the voices are just like I said. The female voices in the show are all the same, with the exception of Willa. Um, she Willa sounded and not was not Willa. What's Willa what's and sister? Nida. Yeah, Nida. Nida. One of them, one of them sounded different. Willa, Willa, you can tell. I I'm just pretty sure. I the name of the stupid thing, the Mad Bubbler. The Mad Bubbler. Oh god. Oh. There you go. That's a pretty cringy episode. Oh, even Safari Joe episode was like a little cringy. A little know? bit. Safari Joe never misses, and it was just. Safari oh. Joe does it again. Does it again? Yeah. Fuck, dude. Like. No, I mean he's cringy, but he's he's 
fun. He's acceptably cringy. Like, there's a few. Like, okay, like, okay, good example is the there's the the crow and the the guy that drives the fucking train. Those guys are pretty cringy. Uh, yeah, that's, I, I, we don't speak about that. Those those two are ba- well, I mean, they're obviously like based off of actual actors. Man, you really are on a negative run tonight. Well, I'm not trying to be. I'm not really trying to be because I, you know what it is is that I love the show so much and I have so much nostalgia. All the little shit that gets on my nerves is coming out. Like yeah, but you're not saying anything. You're like, oh, I like the shit, but everything about it sucks. Before I continue going like on with the negative negativity, because I try not to be too damn negative. The show was it was a good series. It really was. Um, the watching think- Mumra lose and die and and die in a few of the, the seasons were really good the fighting was good the premises the the morals of the thundercats are amazing you don't see any shows that really push that stuff these days the more it, it is ham-fisted a little bit but they'll do it and like there's a specific episode that i've got in mind where the the episode with the brute men where lino frees the brute that's men, a good one the, the castle plundar um lino's going to go save them and he's like, and he, he's like, oh, go be free. And they're like, oh, free. and they kind of fuck off out of there. And I was just like, they didn't even thank me. And someone, one of the characters responds, well, hey, why'd you do it then? Did you waste your time? No, I did it because it was the right thing. Well, then you didn't really need to be thanked, did that you? That was a learnable moment, too, and that was good. And that, the way they did it was that, amazing. That is how Thundercats always does its morals, though. Yeah, and like you said, that episode was actually a really good example. I was thinking of that episode earlier. Um, it's just it's just how they do it. Like, yeah, why? Why? Well, they didn't even thank me. Well, why do they need to thank you? And that's also that's also reminiscent of like Lionel as far as like his child brain. Mm-hmm. And the, and, well, and he Lionel is the stand-in audience character because this is for kids. Yeah, the original show, uh, it's on. By the way, it's on Hulu or it was on Netflix. I, I think it's on both. Yeah. Either way, look it up. It's on either on Hulu or Netflix. Check it out. I know it's on Hulu for sure. You're going to cringe a little bit, but you're also going to like love it because it's got, especially if you're a lover of nerd things and 80s cartoons. The Sword of Omens is sort of bull. You want me to complain about Thundercats? The Sword of Bullshit will do it every time. That that sword solves everything. Well, the, you the got sword a clogged toilet. Use it, the sword it, of it has it has a different. Oh God, you're gonna get me started. It has a different <laughs> power every episode. <laughs> it changes. It's like Superman of swords. It, it, it's the sword of bullshit. If it's you need if you need. need a fix, that sword's gonna do it. But <laughs> before we get off, it, it's like flex tape. It cleans off the wall. It plugs sinks. It. It, it uh, slices it, dices it, mows your lawn. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, you, 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 you need to call your kids. Use the sword of omens. You want to, you want to see a, you want to see Chitara taking a shower? Use the sword of omens. You need to get from. You need to teleport. Use the sword of omens. You need to fly. The sword of omens will carry you. You want to get out of the book of uh, the book of omens? Use the sword of omens. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so uh, many powers. It even kills Mumra. What, what, what's, what I do like about that sword is it does have a set amount of powers that normally is all it ever does. But the thing is, whenever there's a plot convenience for it to do something, it will do something new. Yes. There's there, so many episodes a, I go, when did it start doing that? <laughs> so it many does, episodes. It does, to its credit, though, it does have a consistent set of powers that it does re- reuse a lot. Let's talk about Mumra as far as evolution. But when he first starts out, he's regular Mumra. Who can't see his his own weakness? His, his one real weakness is he can't see his own reflection. He can see his reflection, but the problem is if he does, it hurts him or he it, it, scares it, he, him. He is so evil that if he sees his own reflection, he will be terrified. It's like a dog looking at the window, seeing itself, going, "Oh shit, that's a dog in there!" Well, Mama goes, "Oh run shit, from that's something evil as shit." Oh god, no! That's scary. I don't like it. Yeah. Explain, but they no. They it's only, like, it's well done. I liked I liked that arc. So it kind of broke my heart when they took that arc out. Go he ahead. got more power from the uh, from the spirits of evil, and then he became super Mumra. And then he looks at and they're like, "Look at your own evil." And he's just like, "My reflection means nothing to me and now." Yeah, and that's. Uh, uh, they're like, "Be afraid of yourself." He's like, "Fuck you." <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not scared of that no more. Yeah, I, I actually like that, though. Because he, as the Thundercats have gotten more effective, so has he. Yeah, and that I enjoy, but I didn't, I like, it's almost like you're taking away... You're taking away an interesting thing, but, it, but it's all, at the same time, though... It made it to where they had to get stronger, I get it. Yes, it's, it was a scaling thing, and also it was a Mumra growing as a villain thing, and yeah. I, I love that. As far as the evolution goes, he gets that sword... The Sword of Plundar. Yeah, and I yes. think the Sword of Plundar comes later on, but... He, he also gets out, a boost, uh, a power boost later on, too. Like The Spirit of Plunder comes out like when New Thundera first shows up, when when they're trying to get the treasure of Thundera. Yeah. Thunder Cub, which is actually my favorite storyline. The line, Thunder Cubs Thunder Cub. was a good storyline. Cool. And then and then he just became Super Super Mumra, which, like, just Super God, Super Saiyan Mumra, which was... Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue Mumra. Yeah, it was bullshit. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, I took my blue pill. I can only last four hours. Let's start. Let's 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 go back to the beginning, where sure. they're on the ship. They're getting out of. They're getting out of. They're they're basically pulling out of uh, of old um, old uh, Thundera. The original Thundera. Yep, yep. Because they're trying to get away from the explosion and get to safety. And so, long story short, you have a young Lionel. Like I said, possibly about ten to thirteen years old. I think he's even younger. I think he might be five or six. He, uh, see, five or six would be too... I would go seven at the very least. Seven, seven I could see. So it doesn't really specify. Anyway, you have a really young lion and you have his, his caretaker, Snarf, and uh, it shows them a little Snarf. bit, and then they're, they're all talking, and, and what's funny is all the other Thinner Cats are just nobles. So they, yeah, they got attacked, and they had to find the, like, the nearest planet, which was like so many light years away. Yeah, cause their, their ship got broke to shit, basically, yeah. and their, their auto computer doesn't work. Although, yeah. if their auto computer worked, Jaga just would have gone in with them. Yeah, unfortunately, they had to manually steer it. So Jaga had to. Jaga basically said, I'm old, and I got only got so many years left. You guys do whatever. I might not make it into spinning might, animation anyway. I might not make it anyway. So, And the, with the spinning animation, like basically slows down aging supposedly but yep, it doesn't stop it, doesn't it. End it so when we see lino again after they crash when we see him again he's an adult he's i want to say like 21 and he's got a, a big adult man body yes but he's got 11 year old brain we get to watch him grow as as an, an adult mm-hmm. we get to watch him learn like morals and stuff that I mean, shit affected me when I was a kid that I learned from. I'm assuming not just me, everybody. Pretty much. I mean, and this this was on purpose. Yeah, it, it was on purpose. But as a kid, you didn't realize. As a no, kid, as a kid, you're like, Lionel's was... a badass, awesome guy. He fights the bad guys, which, again, is on purpose. Yeah. Because if you knew what you were watching, you wouldn't watch it. You got that's The trials, I want to say, was the last of young Lionel. I think that's fair, although there are occasional moments. And yeah. towards, like, I want to say the... Towards the end of the new Thundera arc, I want to say that's the the real bad guys are the uh, spirits of evil. Oh, well, I mean they'd have to be. Yeah, and it was it's kind of cool that like everything that happened. The final episode had something to do with them warning. Uh, they warned Mumra not to go into the Book of Omens. Yeah. And what did he do? He, he did fucking it anyway. Did, he did it anyways. I'm gonna do what I want. And well, he's they, they summoned their champion Pyron, and the line is just like, uh, yeah, no. Uh, he beat the shit out of it, and it wasn't even a problem. I mean, there was... He had harder times with legitimately Mumra. Yeah, big time. Legitimately Mumra. And, eh, you know what? It it ended okay. It wasn't it, bad. It did. It wasn't terrible, um, but... It could have been better. I think I agree with you, for the most part, that if they would have ended it on, the, what, the last day... Yep, that's, that's that the final been, episode before they go to New Thunder. That would have been a good a good stopping point. You no, know, a lot of people point out the animation budget's all in the intro, and there's there's truth to that. But even when you're not dealing with the intro, they can do some pretty impressive visuals, and the soundtrack is always like top notch. Oh, I was just about to say the audio, the music. Late, a little later down the line, just about everyone had their own theme song. Uh, the original, the original song, the opening song's amazing. There was a lot of really cool '80s rock in oh, uh, yeah. in the Thundercats as a whole. Like well, I mean, each... ultimately, it's a giant '80s fantasy adventure. Well, even even like some of the songs sounded magical. If that makes oh, sense, yeah. that's an '80s sound. That's an '80s. Like, mm-hmm. lo- there's a lot of really cool moments and a lot of cool music in the in. 
you can't really reproduce that. It had the um for the time period, the budget per episode was the highest in all um ever. That makes like sense. They, in order to try and top this, you would have to do that again. Yeah, and going Modern back technology. to the newer 2011 one, the music in that one was. With the exception of the opening theme, which used the riff from the original Thundercats. Okay, the soundtrack was okay, but it wasn't but like... It, with the exception of the intro, the soundtrack was nothing compared to the 80s. We will, we will, we will say there were only two series. Yeah. We will say that. Yeah, uh, wait, wait, was there another one? Wait, was there another one? Look, we got to vaguely mention it if there was. I haven't seen it, but I can't talk about it too much. But you're the Thundercats expert here, so... Thundercats Roar... Oh, God, I forgot about that. No, we're not talking about Thundercats Roar. We're not talking about uh, Teen Titans Go, the Thundercats edition. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Because that show doesn't exist. So mad that that's the last incarnation of Thundercats that we're probably ever going to get. Who knows? They might do something, as long as they don't do anything like... Not ever again, yeah. Well, like like He-Man Revelations or whatever. We've already done that. We've already talked uh, about that. Well, part but, two is coming. <laughs> part two better be a. Mm, uh, well, we'll we'll get to that when the time. We'll get comes. to that when we get to that. Yeah. All I'm saying is they don't need to be. If they make another Thundercats, it doesn't need to be like that. That's all. I'm no, saying. you don't need to deconstruct and try to add new meaning into what was already there. Just no. do either. Do what the 2011 show does. Do your own thing that has its own feel. Or if you're going to make, base it on the original, base it on the original. Don't make up your own bullshit. The new Lord of the Thundercats is Chitara. It was all always Chitara. Because Minner. Oh, oh, God, I'm going to get. Don't give political. them ideas, Wildfire. I'm going to get. Cantro political. Was, was, was a slave all along. We just didn't know. <sighs> and uh, he's going to overcome the, the, the slavery that he. Okay, I'm stopping now. And Chitara is pissed at men because men have made. Her. Men are the reason that there's even conflict. You see, Chitara knows that uh, without men, Mumra could not exist. So I mean, she's, she's going, going to go a... join the warrior women, and she's going to create a whole tribe with the, them. And uh, the they're, Amazons. They're, they're, there we go. And they're be- and they're better than the Thundercats ever were. And then, and and then uh, she's going to go out, and the the, que- the quest is she's going to castrate all the Thundercats with the sort of om- omens. That's what it's going to be. That's what it's gonna. I just, I just made the next one. I, you heard it here first. We just, we just brainstormed. We're just as good as Kevin Smith. <laughs> You're, you, you know, the worst part is now. Now my brain wants to come up with how bad this would be. No, you don't know what. I, I, I think we just made it as bad as it could be. Like, oh, I can't. We literally, we literally Kevin Smith the Thundercats right now. Well, we did. We did. We did. We did. And then Mumra is going to turn out to be the ultimate good guy in the long run. Oh God, it's just that it would be a wild And lion dies six times. So it's just the Wildstorm comics, then. Yeah. Stay yeah. tuned. Stay tuned for Thundercats Netflix edition. Thundercats Revelations. <laughs> Stay tuned for yeah. that. That'll be out before you know it. You heard it here first. No, it, it's not, guys. And Netflix, if you even so much as do something like that, I'm going to find We're you. Coming. We're going to come for you. Yeah. Don't stop fucking up my childhood, Netflix. Stop it. <laughs> no. I mean, I, I rewatched it for nostalgia's sake, and of course, to talk about it here. Uh, we'll see you guys next week on episode 146. And uh, is there anything else you want to say? I know I asked you this earlier, but just yeah. in case. Remember, truth Honor, loyalty, and vagina. And vagina. <laughs> Till then, guys, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy, always. always.